everyone this is Cindy welcome back to my channel today I'm going to share with you my autumn capsule wardrobe for this capsule wardrobe for autumn there are 11 items and uh, I'll take you through them one by one and also in the next section I'm going to take you through the 60 outfits that I've created out of these 11 items so please stay tuned and uh, subscribe to my channel give my video a like and uh, thank you so much without further ado let's begin first of all is a, just a plain white t-shirt the second item this um, you must have seen this from my summer ward capsule wardrobe just a button-down black shirt and also this is an item that has been shown in my OTDs this is just a plain white linen neat jumper with two side slits this is coming from my summer capsule wardrobe as well this is just a stripy neat top rather thin the scoop neck and long sleeves the next item is a waistcoat it has the blazer lapel but on the side is completely open but tied with this d-ring or oh, this one button can be tied up I love this sort of items because this can be worn for layering it's very useful this can be worn spring summer and autumn so now is one of my favorite autumn items next is a like a wool ish material is finish and is a tank dress this one is two side slits one on either side when it's on it gives quite a lot of good movements that is not very restrictive i've been wearing this a lot with slippers and the muse and the boots so this is another item that i really love this is new from h and m i only just got this before i went to the lake district i think i might get another one because i love it so much just in case the yarn gets torn this is a long black pencil skirt this is from my summer wardrobe as well and with two pockets very long length and uh, with a long slit at the back I'm going to wear these as a transitional piece maybe I can wear this in the winter as well with boots so let's watch this space this might appear in my winter capsule wardrobe as well so this is me I watch buy less wear more so I want this, these items can can be repeatedly warm in autumn winter summer so they can be warm creatively be worn in so many ways and creating so many outfits with just one simple item and I believe that it doesn't matter where the item is coming from whether high street or designer you've spent so much money on it or you just paid maybe um, even from a charity shop as long as that item suits you fits you fits in your wardrobe it can be worn repeatedly so many times it doesn't have to be buy it and then worn it for once and go into the bin which is something Thing that are highly against I do not like that I have clothes from the high street stores some of them are, are kept for 20 years are still wearing them today it doesn't mean that if it's an item from a fast fashion store and it can be only worn once or twice and then it, it has to go into the bin so I don't believe in that but make sure when you choose an item it suits you it suits your lifestyle suits your whatever you have in your wardrobe suit your body shape is made with a decent material and that's my ethics for buying clothes the next piece is just a pair of black street leg jeans that I've had these for many years I still keep wearing them this is from J brand for accessories most of the outfits I have used this Fendi bag uh, which you could see I've reviewed this and I'm going to insert that review video and uh, here so you can give a little watch when you have some time and this uh, I still love this bag a lot because of the color palette it's such a bag for the autumn and winter although I have used in the uh, spring and over the summer quite a bit because it can hold quite a lot and it's such a little boxy bag and this is the one of the bags that I've used most of the bags that I've used the next bag I've used is this Celine inspired box bag from Marks and Spencers I've done the review video and I'm going to insert it so if you're interested again and you can give a watch this is my rainy day bag so I love it so much the material is really good it's anti scratch it's lovely and light there's another bag that I have used in the videos with my outfits is this black leather bucket bag this is no brand I just got it from the 
internet but is made with all genuine leather this is an understated maybe this is the roll inspired bag i've just been loving it i use this for work as well because it can put the laptop in there so there's a small handle a, this is adjustable and it can be just carried in the hand and then with a long so shoulder strap quite wide so this is the third bag for shoes they are four pairs of shoes that i have used the first pair is this pair of nicholas kirkwood and velvet mew with this metal embellishment and all the way around it and this is very old pair of shoes and i got this so many years ago and been worn it quite a lot you can see by the back of the sole is quite tarnished the next pair is this chanel ballerina flats i got this years ago this is probably 10 years old now i'm sure there are so many other shoes similar to this that you can use as an alternative another pair of shoes that i've used is this sling bag pointed toe sling bag with kitten heels this pair was from Zara and again this pair was from 2018 maybe so you can see this is still four or five years old and I still wear them quite a lot these are so super comfortable and if you are a trainer girl this pair of plain leather Nike trainers and low tops so it's not high tops I wear these um, from time to time and on a rainy day this can be worn with any of these outfits that I've created use these 11 items I'm going to insert pictures of the shoes and the clothes that's on the rack I'm going to show you the outfits that I've created in the following section please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel give my video a like
hope you liked today's video and please leave a comment subscribe to my channel and give my video a like and i'll see you in the next one thank you bye bye